What's going on? It's your boy Sermon at Sermon's Domain on Twitter. When the ASAP mob says they're taking over August, they really mean it. First up was ASAP 12E's debut album, which is getting really good feedback so far. And next week we're getting Cozy Tapes 2, another ASAP mob compilation. In between these two releases, ASAP Ferg is back with his new mixtape titled Still Striving. As I talked about in my track listing discussion video, I was initially disappointed when I seen the amount of guest features on here. I feel like that's a formula that rarely ever results in an album or mixtape worth playing for years to come. So the fact that there's only like three solo songs from ASAP Ferg on here was disappointing. But not only that, it felt like a lot of the guest features are ones that I don't want anything to do with. These are rappers who are popular for this generation. People love them, but they're just not for me. However, the mixtape isn't a total loss. There are definitely some rewind-worthy cuts on here, which segues into my favorite song, starting off with Plain Jane. Now, I'm a sucker for a flow that I can recognize. And so right off the bat, I realized that Ferg was emulating Juicy J slob on my knob flow. That right there might be one of the greatest, most underrated flows in hip hop history. For a song that's actually pretty turned up in production, the lyrics are very personal. I feel like Ferg was... I don't know, he's kind of like mixing the two, like having that aspect of being turned up, something that you can play at a party, but also going a lot deeper with the lyrics. It's, it's different than almost anything on this mixtape, which is another reason why I liked it. I mean, the production and the flow, it draws you in, but the lyrics are what made me stay. My other favorite song is Tango featuring Kenobi. This is one of my favorites but it also doesn't really fit into the project. Like I mentioned, this project has a lot of production that's turned up, that's party, that's energetic. My other favorite record is titled Tango, and it features Kenobi. Out of everything on Still Striving, Tango feels the most out of place. Yet, it's also one of the best songs on the entire mixtape. I say that it feels out of place because the mixtape is predominantly uh, energetic. It's more fur just wilding out, having fun. But this is more introspective. He gets real introspective, like real quick. You don't ease into it at all. Like the opening lines of his first verse are talking about how his father died because of complications from the surgery, but it. Uh, Due to like he was having issues with his kidney and the surgery is ultimately what caused him to die. It wasn't the actual kidney and that's something that he says he just found out. And that right there, that messes you up. It only gets crazier from there. Like Ferg really unloads his feelings on this song and I really uh, connected with it. There's a line in the hook, Kenobi says, if I don't speak it might get worse. And so I genuinely feel like that's the case for Ferg when he was writing the song. Like he had a lot on his mind that he needed to get off. I have two honorable mentions I would like to highlight real quick. The first is Mad Man featuring Playboy Cardi. Um, I was surprised. I wasn't expecting to like this record just because it was one of the guest features I really wasn't uh, too into. But hey. I was surprised with it, and maybe it's not even Playboy Cardi's verse. Maybe it's the overall song that I like. I mean, it's got that Tear the Club Up 3-6 Mafia sample in it, and it's very, um, I keep using the word energetic, because that is exactly what it is. Um, and so, like, I think in that regard, maybe I tolerate Playboy Cardi's verse. I, I definitely can't say that it's, like, my favorite on the song, because ASAP Ferg is on it, but Madman was definitely a surprising collaboration. The other favorite is the East Coast remix featuring Busta Rhymes, ASAP Rocky, Dave East, uh, Rick Ross, and Snoop Dogg. And French Montana. Can't forget French. I just feel like this is a good lineup. Um, I, like I said before, Dave East really brought the fire. He had the most lyrical verse in my opinion. I love Busta Rhymes' fast flow. I feel like the only weird thing on here was having Rick Ross and Snoop Dogg where... 
this is about the East Coast, so I figured Ferg would want to have some more people that are from the East Coast on this record. ASAP Ferg wanted to do something different in appealing to this generation with the sound, the flow, the lyrics, the production, and even the guest features that he has. Does he pull this off? Sure. I've seen a lot of people praising this project online, but for me, it just never really connects. I don't think I'm a big fan of a lot of the music that this generation really loves. Like, I can get into Amigos or a Future or a Young Thug, but I kind of have to draw the line when it comes to certain artists like a Famous Dex or a Playboy Cardi. Like, these are people that I've listened to on several basis and nothing really compelled me to want to listen any further. I will give props because I did like this project a little bit more than I expected, which really isn't saying a lot. Like, out of this, besides the honorable mentions, there's maybe like one other song. So that's five out of 14 or so. And it's not really a, a huge ratio, but I would consider it, like I mentioned earlier, it's not a total loss. I'm walking away with a couple good records from Ferg that I can keep in rotation. Still Striving had a goal, as I mentioned before. That goal was to create some music that would appeal to this generation, using the guest features, using the flows, the lyrics, all of that. And so Fur accomplishes that goal, and I admit, and I accept, that this isn't necessarily the type of music that I want out of ASAP Ferg. Now, I'm all for him getting energetic and doing, you know, the, the fun records, but I think there's a way to do it. I think the solo records on here show you exactly what he should be doing. Like, Plain Jane, that is fun. That's a fun record that I want to see. Maybe it's just I wanted more Ferg, and I didn't get that when you have almost every song has a guest feature on it, at least one. I really liked ASAP Ferg's last album, Always Strive and Prosper, because I felt like it had more of a unique identity. In some ways, it felt more personal with records like Psycho, where Still Striving is a project that I feel will take Ferg around the country. Like, this is something that he can tour off of, and I think that'll probably be where he goes next. That's his mindset. And so, at the end of the day, with that goal in mind, I know that ASAP Ferg is living up to this mixtape's title. So those are my thoughts on ASAP Ferg's Still Striving mixtape. After you listen to it, let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. And then like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, share the video. Follow me on Twitter at Sermons Domain, and as always, thank you for your time. I appreciate you for watching, and until next time, peace.